Hi there guys and welcome back to another Supreme DPS guide. This one is going to be a little bit different to usual. This is going to be a guide for hard mode mole and how to solo efficiently whilst hunting for your mole pet. The reason for making this one is that I had a fair few people ask me how I hunted for my mole pet as I did go pretty dry, what the best method for this is and how to skip phases efficiently to make it as fast as possible. All of which I'm going to try and cover in this video. First off then, a few little things about mole and the drop rates of the pet. So in normal mode, the drop rate of the pet is 1 in 2,500 with a 500 threshold and in hard mode it's 1 in 500 uh, with a 500 threshold again and they do stack between the two so if you have 250 normal mode, 250 hard mode, that is one threshold. Moving on to gear then. So on the right hand side here you can see that my preferred inventory and gear setup. This is using a Noxus Scythe with tier 90 DPS armor. This is definitely the best setup to have using an Asylum Ring and Amulet of Souls as well but obviously on the left hand side you can see a setup using Void or in the inventory as well I've got some Bandos or Torva and a f couple other rings and amulets that you can use if you don't have access to that high level gear. It is also perfectly possible to do it with the Dragon Rider Lance, the new tier 85 200 weapon or even a Chaotic Spear. Clearly the better armor and weapon you have the better the method's going to be and the faster kills you'll get. Regarding what aura to use, auras don't really matter. Vampirism's kind of nice just to, you don't have to worry about your life points, but I ended up using inspiration a lot just for the extra adrenaline. Any other damage increasing auras are also fine. However, I do suggest not using accuracy auras due to the fact that you've got really high accuracy already. The last thing I'd like to mention regarding gear is that having either an augmented Excalibur or Dark Bow that you have a mobile perk on is really useful, but I'll come to that later. Moving on to the method then. So you want to start the kill with an auto attack and then use assault and almost instantly cancel this with hurricane. This should leave Mole on around 60k life points and will force it to move to one of the rooms. Run to this arena and then use auto attack, slaughter and obviously walk underneath the Mole, tendrils and then cleave, then basic until he digs again. The combination of using these bleeds and doing this DPS at the same time basically means that you skip one of the digs. After this, you want to make sure you put your Dark Bow or Excalibur, whichever has the mobile perk on it, and surge towards the next room. There shouldn't be too much to do in this room, apart from just tag it again, use Assault, and then cleave as it's nearly done with the Assault. After this, Mole should then dick bag to the middle, and you're pretty much free to finish it however you like. I prefer to slaughter it, cleave, and then hurricane. This means that if it spawns minions first, you're able to kill the minions with the cleave and the hurricane and then finish off killing mole without the 50% damage reduction that the minions give. From then on to finish it, just use basics and I like to make sure I use sacrifice for a little bit of HP towards the end. And this is pretty much the basis of my method and the kill. Now a few little helpful tips and pointers. There's, there are a few surge spots which allow you to surge diagonally through walls which I will have up on screen now of me doing it and a few screenshots as to where to click and at what point to click surge. This just helps again with a couple of seconds and makes the kills easier and faster once you get the hang of it. You can also obviously use adrenaline pots if you're struggling for adrenaline at any point and you get those back every two minutes so probably every other kill. I try and start each kill with as much adrenaline as possible and if you don't have much finishing the last kill there are a few mini moles just to the south of the middle room that you can build on in between kills. I don't want to go into too much detail about why this method works and sort of the mechanics behind skipping phases etc but it's basically about dealing combo DPS at certain points just before thresholds to push it past that so it just skips using digs and means that you don't have to run to all four rooms every time. That's it for this one guys, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this is helpful and if you do decide to go and get mole pet, I hope this helps and I'll see you guys in the next one.